Hello guys, um, I haven't been doing a video for a very long time uh, because I haven't really got the opportunity to and I haven't had the time. But right now I'm going to do a video. Okay, so you might wonder what this is, this thing over here. Uh, but it's actually my first ever made baby. It's a one of a kind as you call it. I'm sorry you guys, hang on, I'm just going to fix my camera and some lights and stuff so you can see her better. Now this is the first reborn that I've ever done. And it's not done yet, as you can see, she hasn't got any arms and she hasn't got a head. But she has little feet, and she has the baby wrinkles, there and there. And this one is not as good as this one, because this one was my first one. And then I found myself having a really, really hard time making this one fit to this one and they're not stuck to the body yet I just popped her into a onesie that I made and um, and I gave her her bottle and it's a girl by the way, I keep saying her but she's gonna be an anatomically correct baby um, since I can't really afford cloth bodies and stuff otherwise I'd do a cloth body baby but I'm just gonna Take her once, y'all, so you can see her better, you guys. Ugh, here we go. So, as you can see, she is full body. She's got a little diaper on to, like, well, so she doesn't get wet. I'm gonna take that off, too. And here is her little... I'm sorry, you guys can see this, right? Yeah, well, her little private parts and her legs gonna fit right there. I'm just gonna put the lights down again. Her legs, I'm sorry for the music in the background, my brother is playing some music. So, the legs, I'm gonna put this together with this one with some clay. And I'm gonna put it right there. And this one right there. And the arms uh, will go from there and there, and the head will sit down there. And she has the back also, she has the booty plate. I'm just gonna try to turn this. So this is her body. Um, this is her back. I'm gonna put it over here and put lights on it so you can see it better. So we've got the spine that goes from there, down there, and then I've got the tiny little booty. And she is, I thought I'd made her, make her uh, like a newborn baby size. And I made a skeleton for a newborn baby size. But then I didn't realize that when the clay is on, she's gonna be bigger, right? So she turned out to be a 60 centimeters tall, which is uh, 23 inches instead of 19 inches as I planned. Yeah, this is all messy now. Um, I'm gonna make her up again and then I'm gonna do another part, you guys. So let's see you soon. Bye for now. Okay, you guys, I'm back again and I've popped her into the same outfit as before. And uh, just to, so you didn't guys have to see that because I hadn't used my two hands and everything. And um, but I thought I'd go to the details of the little legs and the little feet that you haven't seen. And I'm gonna also tell you which clay I used if you're interested and live in Sweden because I don't know if they have that same clay in, like in the US or UK or something. But I, um, right, and I'm sorry, I'm getting all like confused and stuff. And I'll also go into her name, because I have decided a name for her. And, yeah, so. Okay, so let's go into the legs. I'm going to put the lighting over here. Um, right, like this, I think. Something like that, yeah. See my lights? <laughs> nice, huh? Okay, so I'll go into this leg first, because this is my favorite leg. So I'll put it right here. I have the count. I have the lights come with me. Okay. Oh, here the lights fall. See, I don't, I'm not putting up this stuff. So here's the first leg, and... It's, like, bigger. It's big. And her little knee... And here are my favorite part, it's the wrinkles, the fat wrinkles, the baby fat wrinkles that the babies have. These. And then with the foot. Oh god, I'm so sorry, I hate this. I'm s I don't, I'm not good at this part. Okay. So here. 
is her little feet, my favorite feet of them. And there's the toenails. I don't know if it will capture the nails. Oh. But there they are, and her little toes sticking out. Oh, I moved the light. She kicked it. Ah! And I've got the line around the feet and the little cute baby wrinkles on it and underneath it. So that's the baby's feet or foot actually because it's just one, right? She kicks everything. Ah, ah, ah. She's gonna be a little something to take care of. Right, and I'm so excited that I made her myself and I never thought it'd be that good because I made one before and like it was like this big and it was not cool. It wasn't cute at all. So once I tried to do the bigger one, it got a lot cuter. So this is the other leg, which I totally failed um, on. But if you like see this leg before you see that leg, then you think this is good and then you see that and you go like, whoa. And the clay, I didn't have more clay, so her like, tie is very skinny. But this part ain't gonna show because it will be in the body. So. Also when I did this, I kind of like did it because I was bored, <laughs> so uh, I hadn't really the inspiration to do it, but yeah, it turned out that was my punishment, and the clay is dried now so I can redo it, but here's her other foot, and I had so hard time to like make it the same size as the other foot, but I actually succeeded, and I'm so excited for that one. And she also got the toe sticking up, and with the other feet down. And there are little nails. They're not as cute as the other foot's nails. You can't really see them. It's night. It's night and I'm doing the, this so bad. But there! There it is. And... We've got a little crack over there. And that doesn't really do anything for me, but I always it's kind of bad. And some baby wrinkles and under the feet. I don't really know what that is. But I'll probably get that away in this little thing here. So I'm not very proud of this leg. But this leg I I love. So that's her leg. And I made her out of a clay called doll clay and I bought it in a store called like Panduru and uh, yeah it's called Panduru or Panduru and I bought it from there and they have like this doll clay like you got half a kilo and with half a kilo you can almost do a full leg so this leg's pretty heavy so she's gonna be a heavy baby too and I have my tools from when I was a kid when you used to play with like play-doh and stuff so I got those tools and I made little creases and I got a pencil to dip to get the little textures and a little knife to get this baby wrinkles and for the nails I had a really hard time doing them and I didn't really want to cut them off so actually on the nails I used a straw and the only thing I did was like push the straw in and then fix the edge so that's the nails, and that's how I did the legs. And I haven't done anything else except for the tummy, and the tummy was, uh, I just created it with my hands. And her name's gonna be Liliet, um, all right, Liliet Aurora Skylar. And then my last name, I'm not gonna say that out loud, but yeah, that's her name. And I guess that I, once I, um, started thinking of doing a bigger baby, I got stuck into the name Liliet because my previous baby's name is Christopher and um, I don't know we I was with a friend or she's not a friend but she was a friend and um, we uh, did the first baby or I did it and she watched and took pictures of it and she was like oh if I'd had a reborn girl I'd probably name her Leah and I said if I had a another reborn girl and I had Sierra already. I said I name her Liliet and call her Lily. So this is baby Lily and she's been 
half done for like a half year now or like see since 3rd of May that's not half year see I can count that's like one month but still it feels like half year I want her to be done so badly but my clays I don't have anymore so I gotta go buy some yeah but she's a huge baby girl but I don't really matter she's adorable and also I've noticed that a lot of beginners uh, when they create their own kids they always do closed eyes babies as I did my first time but I decided to do an open eyed baby so it's a little bit harder as you can see the eyeballs I've popped in there now you can see they're really good I've made holes there and the head is totally misshaped but I gotta fix that with some glue and stuff and more of this and buy some more but I thought I'd make some eyes for her myself, so I, I'm not buying anything dollish except for a wig maybe, perhaps in the future. I'll buy her a wig so she has some here. But I thought I'd make balls of this and then clay them in and I'll paint the eyes on them because I love painting eyes. And I know you're not supposed to brag, but I think I'm very good at painting eyes. So I'm gonna do that and I have some um, paints for it and I have some like shine stuff. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna dip the eyes in that, and I'll glue them there, and then I'll sculpt over it, and then I'll paint it because she's not supposed to be this white. But I'm gonna paint it once I put her together, and I'm gonna put her limbs and her body and her head together with some of this clay, and then I'm gonna paint it. So I'm not expecting her to be done until like the winter or something, because I'm starting eighth grade and. I have a lot, really much homework and stuff to do, but it's summer break now, so I can't work on her really much. But I have money on the store. I have like this present card, so I can use that. But yeah, so I'm really looking forward till she's done. And every single day, I watch people do kits and painting and watch tutorials just to make her perfect. And I don't really want to fail and make her a boo boo baby. But I know I will because it's my first one, and you can't really expect her to be like. A gorgeous baby but I lo love her anyways so she's gonna be bold for like some years before I buy her a wig but she's gonna be my first reborn you guys I one of a kind and maybe one day in the future I'll sell her maybe I don't know I'm I'll probably enjoy her a little bit first if I like her that's if I bond her if I bond with her but I'm pretty sure I will I mean I made her so yeah, and I hope you. I gave you inspiration to do one of yourself. It's not that hard. These two legs has actually just took me like two hours to do. One hour and one hour, depending on how quick you work. And I am a very like slow worker, I guess. But then I also have that issue that once I start something and I don't want to do it anymore, I quit it. I never do it again. So I have like paintings all over the place that's undone. Because you just want, don't want to. And I have songs that's not done and stuff. But this time I really want to do this. So once I've started, I don't stop. And if I do, it's just because it gets bad. <laughs> but that hasn't happened yet. So, And the head is the part I'm most like unsure about. Because I would really don't want it to be like ugly. When you see the legs and you see the hands. I haven't done them. But I'm pretty sure she's going to be in a fist like this. And one hand like that. But then the head is like the important stuff because that's really what you're gonna watch the most. And I want her mouth to be a little bit open like she's like pointing her tongue out and her nose is gonna be hard. I hate drawing noses. And her eyes and her ear is gonna be right about here and there. I may like holes for those two. And then I'll fix her head shape a little bit more so it goes out about here. And then I'll paint her and I hope she gets gorgeous, but I think she will because she, I can see that on the expression already she has And I'm very proud of myself And my mom is too so that was everything I wanted to show you and I'll do more requests I just haven't had the time so they're coming and I have to use a friend to hold the camera and stuff But it's coming and my like memories full in 15 seconds so i really gotta go now you guys but if you have any questions ask them i'll still take requests i'll do them as quickly as i can and i hope you have a great night or day wherever you are and we'll see you later bye